upset because I, do, because I see it was allowed to happen to us here in America. I see what it's doing to us here in America. And if we don't get this together, our kids ain't going to have a chance out here. They're not going to have a chance out here. Because we're barely, we barely got our foot in the door. Now, do we have any questions uh, so far? Because I'm, I'm going to get to this money thing because I think it's real important. I don't know how much time we got. If we get into like uh, terrorist attacks, then we still covered by the Constitution or they move to another branch. If, if we... Like terrorist attacks, war, or something like that, under them codes, they can go to another whole type of government. Yeah, what, what happens so is without... by the Constitution. Yeah, with, the Constitution right now is underwater. Right. It's underwater because of our insolvency. Insolvency means that, that we're not in control of our financial destiny, unfortunately. Unfortunately, our government has committed moral hazard with the money in our treasury. And we didn't say anything. We complained, but you got to say something by calling, by you got to redress government. You got to bring them to the table. Like in any court, you got to bring them to the table. Hey, you can't, you can't do that. Because our bylaws say this. So what you're saying is right. We got some problems with the military because why is the United States arranging somebody else's furniture in their living room, and we got terrorist problems over here, we got problems. We got problems. We got problems when the federal government is telling the states what to do. The pyramid's the other way, y'all. That's the wrong way. It's the wrong design. The states are supposed to delegate authority to the federal government. That's the way that works. I don't know how it got flipped around, but it got flipped around because of some contracts. Like they bought off our politicians. Politicians right now are paid by special interest groups, corporations, and they still get our tax dollar, which is why we got a stake in the game. We can call them to the table. But until we call them to the table, we're going to keep voting for these crooks, putting them in office, and they got a back hand out taking, they, that's what's happening. And they, they listen to more money. That's why we listen to Mitt Romney and Obama, the, the romney Obama game. You know, I mean, I know we got a black man in the White House. Where we go from there? Where we go from there? What's going to happen? You know. So it looks good up on the wall, mm. but we got to walk down the hall. See, we got to get to the other end of this. So what's, what are they doing with our tax dollars? Okay, we got health care. You know, somebody else is getting a Band-Aid. All right? But I'm just saying, you know, we ain't got no money. We're $15 trillion in debt. China right now owns most of the land. There's a problem, Houston. There's a problem. Every time you send somebody into outer space, where's that money coming from? $15 trillion in debt. Don't make no sense to me. But what really doesn't make sense is that in the Constitution, everybody says, all money shall be coined in what? Gold. And? Silver. Gold and silver. Remember Dorothy when she was running down the uh, yellow brick road? It's gold. And uh, then uh, she stopped and uh, uh, something happened. She, or she, had to, she had to go to a shoe shop or something. <laughs> and uh, what color was her shoes? Red. Red in the movie. Rubies. Red or something. Red in the movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Anybody ever read the book? Sparkling red. Sparkling red. Anybody ever read the book? I know you said stuff. Sparkling color, right? Sparkling color. What color were what color were Dorothy's shoes? They looked, they gold. I think they were gold. She was going down the, the gold road. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, silver. In the book, her shoes were silver. Silver. Okay. Silver shoes. Silver and gold. Frank Baum Brown was trying to tell us something back then when he wrote The Wizard of Oz. And I think. You know, just like when Dorothy and the lion and the, and the tigers and bears, or the tigers and bears, I mean, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the robot, you know. Well, they were all man. running through the poppy field, right? Yeah. right. Okay. Put them to sleep. And put them to sleep. What did the poppy field represent? The system, this government. So knowledge of everything, put them to sleep in hell. Why are we over in Afghanistan? The sun and drugs. The drugs. What kind of fields are over, kind of fields are over there against it? Hmm? Poppy fields. Yeah. And, you know, and 
you know, this is much bigger than we're looking at it, people. This money thing, this whole global construct of where money is coming from. In the world, you've got some power elite running this thing. And you know, they have a God. They have a God. You know what their God is called? There you go. Come back with that, boy. What's Gold, oil, and drugs. That's what it's called. You have societies that meet that try to look at the stock at their gold, their oil, and their drugs. You think all of these drugstores going up in the corner, you know, don't have a plan? We got more drugstores. Remember, it used to be gas stations, didn't it? That was oil. So we got gold, oil, and drugs going for us right now. G-O-D. That's what the boys with the suits and ties right now are running on us right now. And, and, and we're just doing business as usual, business as usual. So the money game is being played, but the real problem is that Frank Brown told us about the silver and gold back at the Wizard of Oz. And here we are today, and after 1933, after Franklin Delano Roosevelt seized the gold because he saw a problem coming up back then after the war, well, before the war, he saw a problem coming up. And so he seized all the gold of everybody in America, and by the way, I need to make sure you've got it. You all got a copy of this. I thought I'd turn that off. Did you pass them up while you finished off? Yes, please. In fact, uh, give everybody uh, one of these. Give everybody one of uh, uh, oh, the staple. No, no, no. These are separate. One of those. Give everybody one of uh, these. And, oh yeah, one of these, this last one. This, this is going to be enough because I'm going to need this. I'm going to try to go through this fast. Okay. Okay, we went through the, uh, we went through the one that's a criminal. Remember, now this right here, I'm going to go back to, this right here is not the United States government. This is a private corporation, like KG, KB said. This is a private creditor. Would you give Walmart your money for nothing, for no service, no products? No. I wouldn't. What is the product that you're getting from this creditor right here? Can anybody tell me? Who gives you, what do you get from them? Headaches. What else? Everything you didn't ask for, they, you get from them, right? Yeah. But you get no product or service viable or, uh, or, or, or uh, usable to the uh, advancement of life, do you? No. So this right here is a creditor. They have a contract with these people. It's called a hidden contract. We call them adhesion contracts. You'll find adhesion contracts in your mortgage. Mm -hmm. You'll find adhesion contracts in your, in your credit cards and stuff like that. That's why you can never get out of debt. You never can get out of debt. And I'm going to prove it. Even if you pay it off and you see a zero balance, you're never out of debt. And I'm going to prove that. I'm going to prove that. That's okay. All right, we get more paper. Okay. One of the things that I want KB to give you, if uh, you, when he gives you this one right here, it's called, it's called, um, your bank is stealing your money. Your bank is stealing your money. They really, 